Welcome to the latest in our UK furlough scheme tips in early autumn 2021. I'm Carolyn Brown. And I'm Susan Ball. Figures released on the 21st of September showed that firms who have either overclaimed or decided they no longer need payments received through the UK Coronavirus Job Retention Scheme handed back £300 million to the UK Treasury in the last three months out of a total of £1.3 billion returned funds. Susan, HMRC are checking CGRS claims. Can you provide a quick summary of HMRC's approach to compliance so far? Yes, Carolyn. Um, So HMRC have been given extra resources. What they're now doing is sending out review letters. There's broadly two types of letters. One's asking employers to review their claims and confirm that they're correct by a given date. The other is actually asking for very detailed information on a specific claim. Um, We understand that these detailed reviews at the moment are taking on average up to six months. If you have got to correct mistakes um, and engage with HMRC, it's clear that they've been having different approaches to claims made pre 31st of October and post. Those where employees um, had differences of unders and overs prior to the 31st of October, HMRC allows the employer to set them off against each other. So that's unders and overs for different employees within the same claim. However, they're taking currently a different approach post the 1st of November. This is subject to, at the moment, discussion with the professional bodies And we expect that we might hear some more detail on this soon. So we recommend employers keep an eye out for current developments. Carolyn, the furlough scheme is coming to an end. And we know that the recent number of statistics of people on furlough is over a million still. Do you have tips for employers on what the legal options are available regarding their furloughed staff when the scheme ends? Yes, certainly. I mean, you can bring those employees and workers back to work either on their previous terms or you can agree changes of terms with them. And those changes can include pay, but will need clearly to be agreed. And if you know that you'll need some staff, but not others of your currently furloughed staff, you'll be considering a redundancy programme. Remember two points here. If there are larger numbers involved, you may need to undertake collective consultation as well as as government notification before you action the first exit. And secondly, remember that once you've given notice to an employee to terminate their employment, you can't claim for them under the CGRS. As we've always said, unpaid leave of absence does remain an option if you want them connected to you, but you currently have no work for them. Or with the right contract terms, you can operate statutory layoff. But if that lasts too long, you can become liable for a statutory redundancy payment. So is anyone else actually looking at claims at this point in time? Well, obviously, uh, businesses have their external auditors and investors looking at these claims, but they're doing that from a materiality threshold to see the financial impact on the business. But we now know that employment tribunals are also scrutinising employers' methodology in using the CJRS. And this comes about because employees bring claims for underpayment of their wages during furlough. But remember, HMRC CJRS audits will cover whether the claims have been validly made in the first place. So it's clear that the price of such extensive government support is likely to be extensive reviews of your claims basis and of your calculations. And that's why we're recommending you get ahead of this by doing your own advisor guided review first. Make sure that you spot the issues yourself and that you can mitigate any tax penalties by taking the errors to HMRC yourself, not waiting for them to audit you and risking penalties if HMRC spots that you've made errors. We can support those CGRS reviews. So either contact Susan, Susan Ball or myself, Carolyn Brown. If you'd like our support with your pre-audit CGRS reviews or if HMRC contacts you about them. Thanks for watching.